The earliest incarnations of korma were simply meats braised in yogurt with some spices. But once it came into India and the Mughals got a hand of it, they enriched it in their courts with saffron and nuts and cream. And then as it worked its way further down the coast, people started to add coconut. And that is the kind of version I'm doing in my chicken korma today. So we're going to do a really quick marinade for the chicken. We've added some yogurt to our chicken, which is always skin so the flavours can penetrate the chicken. So we've got some puree ginger here, garlic, ground coriander powder, and a little bit of salt. And then we give it a really good mix. You want every piece of chicken to be coated. Cover it with some cling film and put it in the fridge. You can leave it overnight, you can leave it for an hour. So this has been marinating a couple of hours. Now for the cooking. Let's put a couple of tablespoons of ghee. If you don't have ghee, you can use vegetable oil. As long as it tastes good, and two tablespoons is not going to do anyone any harm. And now we're going to add our whole spices. Whole spices always go first. So I'm going to add some black peppercorns, cloves, green cardamom pods, black cardamom, which is really a very, very interesting, smoky, lovely, lovely spice, which I like to use a lot of. Mace and a bit of a cinnamon stick. So let's give the spices a bit of a stir. The hot oil allows the essential oils from the spices to come out and really adds a lot of flavour to your dishes. So in go my onions. And I have a couple of green chilies here. Now if you keep them whole it's great because they add the flavour but all the seeds and the membranes stay within so you don't always have the hotness that comes from chilies. So this is going to take about six to seven minutes to just get some really lovely colour. And don't scrimp on this stage because getting an onion that's really, really well cooked will change the entire taste of this curry. So you want to get a really lovely golden brown colour. I'm going to go straight ahead and put my chicken in. Now the chicken will release water also, so when you add water into a curry, always add it judiciously because you can always come back and top it up. And I'm just going to swish it all about so we can pick up any of these bits on the side and put them back into the curry. I'm going to add a little bit of turmeric for colour here. I'm going to cover it and simmer it on a low heat for about 25 minutes, depending on the size of your joints. I'm going to give it a bit of a taste and you also check for seasoning. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm going to put in a bit of garam masala. And then now, to take a very simple basic korma into the realms of the Mughal world, you can add coconut cream, whatever you want to give it that coconut hint. I'm going to add some ground almonds while I chop my coriander. That smells amazing. If only you could smell it, you would have a korma for dinner tonight for sure. And it's done. And that is a really easy, almost two-stage chicken korma.